people, they may be very intelligent, but if that is applied uh, towards external things, it may result in convenience in terms of mundane activities, just the ordinary daily activities of life. <clears throat> but it perhaps would have been used better through internal culture for things that are substantial and lasting. So, and, and we see this resurfacing again, reappearing again uh, in the time of the internet and uh, the so-called digital lifestyle and how much people are dependent upon electronic devices and such thing. It's not to say that they're uh, bad or good, they're what they are, you know, it's technology. But we have a practical experience here that regularly the power goes off. And at that time, it becomes very quiet and for the most part so many electronic devices are or the, the, what do you call it, the way of communicating, the internet and the Wi-Fi, that all goes down. And then it may stop one's normal activities and then we'll see, it can be a test if one is still capable of being calm, peaceful, going inward, spending some time with themselves or using this as a time of reflection. So simple living high thinking means you can complicate your living to the point of where uh, the real purpose of life, as indicated by Socrates in his statement, the unexamined life is not a life worth living. So it means introspection, atma samiksha, self-analysis, psychoanalysis and, and literally about the soul, understanding one's spiritual identity.